Okay, in this clip we're going to be looking at the background size reference which is located over here in uh, the multimedia tab. Previously we've looked at uh, loading in background images and background colors and this is just the next extension onto that uh, and something that you're going to have to get used to. So I'm going to actually have to load in a background image here which is just good revision for anyone that's watching this. So uh, click on background image. Okay, I'm going to browse for a new image. I'm going to get this one here and press open. Okay, make sure that uh, the background image is on stretch. Um, if you need more clarification on what this is, please have a look at uh, the background image clip uh, in the previous tutorial. And I'm going to press add image. So we now have our reference to that background. Okay, as you can see, we actually have a reference to our background size at the moment, which is my full desktop, uh, 1920 by 1200. These are in pixel values. Um, I don't want to confuse too many people, so I won't get into that, but uh, I'm sure that you'll understand what I'm talking about in a minute. Um, if I was actually to create an animation at this size, uh, put it onto DVD, um, and then watch it on my TV, um, I'm going to get a lot of stretching and squishing of the image, and uh, quite frankly, I don't want people to actually watch my animation like that. So we need to actually give it a size, or a size that the TV can process without any issues. Um, so to do that, we can actually um, use the drop-down box here, and there's a whole heap of presets in here, not just for TV, but for all sorts of things. Um, and right down the bottom here, I have a Power DVD 720x576. Um, this is the size that I want to actually do my animation at, and this is the size that I actually use pretty much all the time for any animation because I know that if someone was to watch it on TV, it would be great. If someone was to watch it on their computer, it would be great. Um, I can also upload um, to YouTube um, and to any other social networking uh, sites uh, using this size and there'll be no issues. So I do recommend using this size uh, for any of the projects that you're doing. Um, it will just mean that it will save a lot of hassle later down the track if you do want to actually put it onto multiple medias. Okay, so I'm going to click on this, 720 by 576 Okay, and I can preview this. If I just shift this down. You can actually see that that is the size of standard definition TV. It's not very large at all. Um, it's, uh, it's quite frightening how small it is. Obviously with uh, HD technology coming in, um, you could go out at a HD size. Uh, we don't have that as a preset as yet, but I'm sure it will be something that will be added very, very soon. So you can see that that is the size that we need. Okay, just bring my project back in. Okay, and I'm happy with that and I'm going to press change size. Okay, so you can see here we have uh, the reference to the background size in line 1, it automatically goes to line 1, which will then correlate throughout the project. So if we do have multiple backgrounds, they will all be the right size. 